Hey everybody, welcome to the Money Reviews. Today we are reviewing the D-Boys Steel 14mm crank-off flash hider, which you see on the table in front of you. This thing is freaking chonky, man, as my son, my youngest son would say. Uh, it is thick, it's a thick boy, and it is heavy. So I weighed it, and it comes in damn near a full pound, and it I believe that it is made of full steel because of how heavy it is. Uh, when you get it, it comes in three pieces. You've got the crank hider here, a little... A little louder tube. Um, you've got your 14 millimeter negative a little uh, adapter. So you can go 14 millimeter negative this direction or this direction, depending on the front of your AK and what side will work better. And then you've also got this little O-ring, which I'm not 100% sure what it's for. I'm assuming it goes right here. But I don't know for certain. I'll find out. So, what we have here is the Arcturus AK-01, uh, right up here, I'm about to bring it down. I took the stock flash hider off of that, which is this guy here. It's okay, but I didn't like it. I wanted something more AKE. So, we are going to go ahead and put this thing on. And we're going to do this in fast motion. And then we have the crank here. So uh, to install it, now that we've got this installed on the gun, we sped that up. Uh, you've got the adapter with the threads here, and it's actually on the barrel of my gun, the outer barrel. And uh, we've got the crank, and we're gonna put that on, and we'll do that in fast motion too. And now we have it installed. Overall, looks really nice on the Arcturus. I will say this, the Arcturus was already a heavy gun, and with this crank hider on there, oh boy, it is considerably heavier now on the front. So uh, if you don't work out, you might want to start lifting to start playing with this guy, because she is not, oh, she's a thick girl, and she's heavy, and I love them that way. So this is definitely worth getting, in my opinion. I think it makes your AK just look that much cooler. Um, be advised, though, it's heavy, and it will add weight to the front of your gun. If you have a lighter gun, probably won't notice it too much. But with this Arcturus, which is already, uh, she's already a big girl, when you put this on, yeah, I, I need to start doing more curls. I got to get in the gym because this, this, this bitch is heavy. Definitely worth grabbing, in my opinion. Uh, D-Boy... Used to be kind of a eh, mid-tier company, uh, but they've really come a long way in the last probably five, six years, and they make some pretty cool shit now that is decently priced and of really good quality. Highly recommend it. Uh, I, like I said at the beginning, I got this off of Evike. Um, not sponsored by them by any way. I just tend to go to them because they have a lot of stuff in stock most of the time. Uh, I'll have a link in the description below. Down, down there, uh, where you could get this guy on e-bike and how much it costs, and I'll have it like the whole to my door and everything. Uh, it was a dual order. Uh, the other part I will be reviewing next, actually, uh, which was a Simon top cover. It's railed, so the pricing's a little wonky. When I put it in the description, you'll you'll see why. So that's all I've got for you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, as always, get out there, build you some cool airsoft guns, LARP fucking hard because it's all about the LARP, man. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.